blood test. You know the 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 feeling. It's not even. I think we. I can. You know, a blood test. But like also getting jabbed in any capacity at a medical facility. As a child, my goodness, that was terrifying. I don't know if this is the same in in other countries as well, but in Australia, you have like you have needle days at school. It's it's like the mandatory vaccinations. Well, not mandatory. The lining up is the worst. The anticipation of getting stabbed by a needle is still scary to me. Because of that, I'm gonna put this in the scary. Um, there was one situation when I was getting rushed to the to the hospital in an in a in a ambulance. I was told <laughs> I was jabbed a total of six times of the medical person trying to find my veins for the IV drip. <laughs> I could just imagine. It does a little bit of trolling! You know, back in the day when Pokemon Go became really, really, really popular, I remember we all were playing, um, like it, it like became really popular, like overnight. And then everyone would carry a power bank around because Pokemon Go ate your battery like no other, like none other. I told mum a rat, I'm like, mum, I need a power bank. And she's like, why? And I'm like, because! What if my phone runs out of battery? Anyway. But phone about to be dead. I would say this is in, like, depending... If you think of, like, the worst scenario for this to happen, this would be death. In my opinion. This is very specific to me. <laughs> or... Low battery for me. When I just get to the gym. I refuse to work out if I don't have my earphones or headphones. That's just me. Um, with the low battery thing. That was pretty... That's very... It's terrifying to me. All right, next! <laughs> Cockroaches are kind of scary. You know what? Okay, I'll put them in Nightmare. How about that? It's a good neutral standing place. Yeah! We have cockroaches that fly here. Love the ones that curl up into a ball. <laughs> no! You horrible! Next. I think the worst when this happens is if you have to catch a fly. Oh, okay. Now we're getting into the more relatable things, I suppose. Exams. I wouldn't say doing the actual exam. I'm going to say the night before and morning of exam. The actual exam itself is not scary. Because you're either screwed or you're not. You come to the realization very quickly when you're doing the exam. You are either effed or you'll do okay. <laughs> Sensei comes up to me. Teacher comes up to me and is like... Is everything okay at home? I'm like, what? <laughs> and then she was like, you know, I've been I've been tracking, you know, your results, and I'm just a little bit concerned because, you know, you're you're a really good student. You you do your homework and you do your exercises during class, but I just don't see that translating into your exams and I was just wondering if, if everything was all right on, on the home front. And I'm like, teacher, I, maybe I'm just dumb. <laughs> I would put this in nightmare, especially the night before, like dropping your phone. <laughs> Let's say dropping your phone that doesn't have a case. <laughs> I carried my phone without a case for a while because I just loved how slim it was. But the anxiety and, and terror I had with me every single day was unmatched. Friend Haru, number five, doesn't have a case. I don't understand why she doesn't have a case until this day. I literally don't. Like, you see my phone that's, like, bulky. And then you see their phone, and it's, like, slim. And I'm like, friend Haru, number five, what are you doing? Why do you not have a case? And her answer is always like, oh, I'm too lazy. Bruh. Going to the dentist, you know you're in for a world of pain. You know, I discovered something. The dentist told me yesterday. She was like, Bait, you're grinding your teeth when you're awake. I'm like, what? I would say going to the dentist is kind of like an eh. Being in the dentist chair is kind of a nightmare because you know it's going to hurt. All right, I'm going to put it here for now. 
This was one of the first things that came to my mind when I was making this list. I've only seen the blue screen of death once. <laughs> and that was a traumatic experience. <laughs> I was debating on what to call this one. It was either the, hey, I know you, or the, you know, you know when someone comes up to you and they're like, hey, it's been a long time, how are you? And you go, oh, shiitake, what was your name? <laughs> Or they call you out by name, they're like, Hey, Bay, right? Oh my god, it's been so long! And you're like, oh, she... Oh, she... So, in this situation, I think this would be Nightmare. If you have to body pat more than once, it's already pretty terrifying. I'm gonna put in horror. We're at the front of the line and she's already scanned your items and then you're like i didn't bring my wallet <laughs> that's a nightmare well just in general when you have a problem with purchasing i'm gonna put this in nightmare One thing I have not experienced. A corrupt save file from a game. So you're gonna have to tell me. <laughs> can't you do a previous save file? No, like the game is corrupt. Like you can't like you can't open the game. Or you open the game and none of your save files work, I guess. Game nightmare work death. <laughs> oh my god. This is also a personally terrifying experience. And if you like entered in piano exams, oh my god. <laughs> the actual the actual horror and terror you experience when you're in that waiting room like waiting to be called and then walking down the corridor into a room with three judges, three people and the grand piano. Anirat has a diploma. I do not have a diploma because I quit. Because I suffered too much mental trauma from these goddamn exams. Anyway. I did the diploma exam three times. It's terrifying. You know it's over. And you sit down at the piano. In the first like five minutes is you adjusting the chair. It doesn't matter. The chair, it's like, it's fine. Like normally, like you don't even, you don't really even like think about it when you sit down, when you're practicing at home or at your teacher's place. You're sitting on that chair and you are adjusting it, moving it forward, moving it back. It doesn't matter. <sighs> Nothing feels like the perfect position anyway. Oh my God. I even remember when you play the pieces, you have to get the book. And then you just put the book, like that, the music book that has the piece in it. You just put it on the, you don't open it. You just put it on the piano. Because that signifies I have memorized this piece. <laughs> the part that I was terrified for in every single music exam is when they start asking you the general knowledge question. Do you know all? Of the goddamn knowledge questions that they ask you. What are the contemporaries? What happened in this part? You know, what key does this change into of all your pieces? That's why they ha you have the book there because they can open the piece and then they tell you or they ask you this question. Who are the contemporaries? You know, what were they thinking when they composed this piece? <sighs> you know, back when I used to do these exams, there was one adjudicator that was known in the music community of being the highest just teacher like harshest adjudicator like everyone that this adjudicator adjudicates fails she was known by name and guess who had her <laughs>